Can we make it work? You are ready. Big change. Time to forget. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. Uh, yeah, I'm immediately getting that you've had a big change and someone wants you to forget about something so they can come back in. Um, also, that they... I, mm, whoa, okay. Rose-colored glasses. Yeah, somebody's... If you feel like somebody's watching you, look, don't be paranoid. Let's speak it out of your life that nobody can harm you because it's not about that. Um, past, present, and future. Oh, wow. Okay, grass was not greener. I haven't seen this card in a minute. You can do better in emotional exhaustion. Oh, gosh. Ah, uh, okay. This, okay. Okay. Whatever this is, this is something recent. This is very specific. This isn't going to resonate for everybody. Probably not for very many people at all. But this is very recent. This, and I don't usually get this specific. But I'm trying to save you some time. God wants you to save some time today. And I'm just going to say, they. this happened very recently, like probably the last six to eight weeks. You may have lived with this person. There were some massive life changes that took place in a very short period of time. And it caused someone to leave out of stress. And I'm sorry to say this, but it's, you know, it's just one of those things where I'm getting an energy of someone who, I mean, it sucks, but when there's a death or something big, massive, like a lot of times people will cheat. And that's the energy I'm getting. I'm not saying it's right. I am not saying it's right. Eventually, you'll realize you are out of my league. I threw you away. I knew better. Uh, I'm always curious about you. I still dream of you. I'm drawn to your light. I'm ashamed of how I treated you. I miss you and I feel you slipping away. Okay, this slipping away, like I you already have to an extent. They want you to come back. Look. They threw away, it's, it's a situation where they left, and it doesn't have to be what I just mentioned. It doesn't have to be anything that sinister. It's however it resonates for you, but I'm really getting a sense that you feel like it's your obligation if this is for you, and I hope it's, oh gosh, this is hard. Oh. Let's speak it out of your life. I, I don't like to dwell in a negative place there. I'm going to say, uh... You are not bound to this person. You do not have to take them back. This may have been the wake-up call you needed. But I'm getting that this is a repeating pattern. And I'm not getting that this is something I've had a reading about here before. Honestly, this is something brand new. I mean, it was like a sudden shift. And then, like, a, I mean, it's something that happened very recently. And then they, like, also want to come back just as quickly. What do you need to know about this? You are divinely guided and you will know the right time. One more card. You hide your pain. Um, mm. This is heavy and I don't even want to read beyond the cards. I don't think I have to. I don't feel like I'm supposed to. Acceptance. Intuitive. Focus. Anxiety and frustration. Okay. This card right here. This is like the last one to come out. <laughs> um, you... This person doesn't doesn't deserve your anxiety and frustration. As soon as that happens, you need to focus on something else. That's what this message is about. This emotional exhaustion. You've got so much going on. Look, we're in a process of a collective ascension here, in case you didn't know. There's a lot of stuff going on, and there's just... There's a whole lot of stuff, people trying to distract you. Look, this, this is a very specific message. I didn't expect anything this specific, but... Uh, mm, let me just pull three cards. If this is for you, you'll know what this is about. Please don't make it fit. You are grateful. You flow with love and you feel success all around you. This is, you just really need to stop and be grateful because if your life is feeling chaotic, it's because there's something, this, whatever's going on, this is why I can't, this reading is weird for me because it's an energy I don't want to have to deal with and I'm not going to and God doesn't want me to. Uh, because sometimes people get on to me and are like, well, how can you go on about the reading? Like, people need that. You need pe Look, I'm the one who, it starts with me here. And I'm not a people pleaser who's going to trigger herself because I already have PTSD. Um, I'm not going to trigger myself to people please for you. And you know what? If I'm not supposed to hear it, maybe there's a reason I'm not supposed to say it to you. So, let's not go beyond this. This this person, it, this focus, okay, th this bunch of cards here and the fact that i haven't even been able to keep my thoughts together is who this that's what this energy is i'm just reflecting the energy of it like just this chaotic bunch of cards here because <laughs> i mean that's who this person is and i'm just letting you know you gotta let go of this you can do better it, it's a thing where i think for some you just got used to them not being around and then suddenly it's like you know how it is like people get break up and get back together right away 
it, I'm just getting that kind of thing where it's like you finally got to where it was like, okay, you're getting on with life. We're starting to, we're starting to see like maybe you're better off. And then suddenly, oh, it's over with the other person and you're thinking about taking them back. Look, you have made a start. There's a reason this happened. There's a reason this happened. Again, I, this is a very chaotic reading for me because I, I, it's, it's not meant to, look, we are ascending. I'm not going to keep you trapped in this 3D world. We're here, I'm here to speak you out of it. Think of a few things that you're grateful for. Because that's going to change everything. Stewing in your anger and this emotion. That's, this is, no, no, this ain't it. This ain't it. This is taken away from everything. The emotional exhaustion, the anxiety and frustration. No, anything that's fear or anxiety is not of God. God, you have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be grateful and you'll be given more. Like, I, even if you don't have any money, be grateful for what little you have and it'll multiply. Um... Be grateful for the love you have in your life, and that'll multiply. And be grateful for the success in your life, and that too will multiply. I'm not even joking. Like, there's no way I'm going to get deeper with this reading. Like, it's just, I, I'm, it, ugh, this is a cyclone of a person, okay? The emotions are a cyclone. Let's send healing energy their way, that they won't cause this with anyone else, but that you found your peace. I, I honestly believe you finally found your peace away from this person. Do not let them in. Unless your spirit just, you know, overwhelmingly tells you. I mean, I'm not saying forever. I'm just saying right now. Because there's you, you need to work on yourself. You need to work on yourself. Be grateful. Be grateful for the lessons you've learned. And you will be, be grateful in advance that there's a lesson you've learned from this. Even if you haven't learned it. And then you'll figure out what that lesson in, is. And then you won't have to repeat this. Because that's what life is. It's a big lesson. It's... It, oh... I just pull this energy in for you. I'm imagining success for you and love and gratitude. You are grateful. It is spoken, it is written, and so it is. Amen.